Well, Haiti is reeling from an earthquake Saturday that has killed nearly 2,000 people and affected more than a million. The devastation coming at a particularly vulnerable time for the country, which is still dealing with the fallout of the assassination of its president just last month. LAX 18's Mike Valenti spoke with a woman from Kentucky who's volunteered in Haiti and whose heart now breaks for that country. Kelly Rowe remembers it well. The first time she felt called to help in Haiti. It was 2014. A missionary group was giving a presentation about the country at her church. It, it sounds so weird, but I got this feeling like you need to pay attention. Her first trip came in 2015, the first of three where their main job was construction. Considered the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, Haiti was still recovering from a massive earthquake in 2010. My last trip was in 2017. They were still feeling the effects. You know, over my three years there, you didn't see a lot of progress. While the lack of progress may have been disheartening, Rose said the spirits of the people there were anything but. In my three years there, I didn't hear anyone complaining. Um, these kids just loved you. The adults loved you. They had such hope. In the face of despair, they are the most hopeful people I've ever been around. And the despair has only been compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic, political instability, and a tropical storm on top of an earthquake. More than 1,500 miles away, Roe feels helpless, but she's determined to get back to Haiti once it's safe to do so. And she encourages everyone who's watching this to act now to do their research and donate to reputable organizations that can ensure the money actually gets to the Haitian people. My journey with Haiti is not over. I am just waiting for the time when it's safe for me to travel and when I can do the most good. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LAX 18 News.